How's it going students? Today I'm going to show you how to count atoms using chemical formulas. All right, students, so the first thing we want to do is figure out what kind of elements we're dealing with. So we need to first go to the periodic table and let's zoom in. And what do you notice about the element symbols? So just take a look at it. What you should notice is that the elements are represented by either a capital letter, a single capital letter, or a capital letter followed by a lowercase letter. So when you look at chemical formulas, you need to first recognize that if you see a single capital letter, you're dealing with one element. If you see a capital letter followed by a lowercase letter, you're also dealing with one element. So to reiterate, here we have a chemical compound and let's figure out what kind of atoms we're dealing with. Let's take a look at the first few letters. We have capital N and a lowercase a. So this means we're dealing with one element. So let me show you right here. So we're dealing with one element of sodium. So that's Na. And then we notice we have a capital C and a lowercase l. So that is another single element. So this is sodium chloride. Actually, this is everyday table salts. So let's take a look at this molecule. How much hydrogen atoms do you have in this molecule? This is H2O. Rule number one, all you got to do is look at the subscript. So the subscript for hydrogen is that small number on the right side of the element. So what number is there? We see two. So hydrogen is two. So you have two atoms of hydrogen. What about oxygen? How much oxygen atoms do you have in this molecule? Let's find out. Rule number two, if there is no subscript, you have one element. So oxygen, it doesn't have a subscript. So there is one atom. You see that? There's kind of like an invisible one. So we have one atom of oxygen. So H2O kind of looks like this. What about this? How much hydrogen atoms do you have in this molecule? You notice there's something different about this, right? We have these brackets or these parentheses and there's a subscript on the outside. So how do we deal with this? Rule number three, you multiply the amount of atoms in the brackets slash parentheses by the subscript. So how much hydrogen atoms do we have in this molecule? Let's find out. Hydrogen, we take that too. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply by the subscript. So 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 4 atoms of hydrogen because we have 2 sets of 2. What about oxygen? How much oxygen do we have in this molecule? So remember, if there is no subscript, there is a one there. 
So same rule, we're gonna take one and we are going to multiply by the subscript. So one multiplied by two is gonna give us two. So we have two atoms of oxygen. So H2O with brackets and a two on the outside kind of looks like this. We have two molecules of water. All right, let's check for understanding. You're gonna take a look at this compound. You're gonna write each individual element on the left side, and then you're gonna count how many atoms you have. And then at the bottom, you're gonna give me the total amount of atoms in this compound. So I'm gonna give you guys two minutes to figure this out. All right, let's see how you did. So the first element is gonna be carbon. We have a carbon atom here and a carbon atom here. So we have a total of two. We have two atoms of carbon. Let's take a look at the next element. We have H. So what we're going to do is take a look at that subscript. You see that? We have H2. So how much atoms of hydrogen do we have? That one has two. But take a look right here. There's another H. You see that? So we have one there as well. So two plus one is going to give us three. So there are three atoms of hydrogen. And then what about oxygen? We have two, right? And then we simply add those together. We have a total of seven atoms. So today you learned how to count atoms using chemical formulas.